Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 6, chapter 6, basic arithmetic, example sums on ratios. See now example 1, express the terms 150 and 400 in simplest form by using ratio symbol. See the solution, given numbers are 150 and 400. Simplest form of the ratio 150 is to 400. That equals to, we are going to divide both the terms with 10. So, 150 divided by 10 is to 400 divided by 10. On dividing with 10, we get answer 15 is to 40. Now, again, these terms we are going to divide with 5. 15 divided by 5 is to 40 divided by 5. On dividing with 5 on both sides, we got answer 3 is to 8. Therefore, simplest form of the ratio 150 is to 400 is 3 is to 8. See now example 2. Express the following ratios in their simplest form. See the first one 28 is to 84. We have divided both the terms with 4. 4 table 28 is 7 times. 4 table 84 is 21 times. So we got 7 is to 21. This ratio further can be simplified by dividing the both terms with 7. 7 table 7 is 1 times, 7 table 21 is 3 times. Therefore, simplest form of the given ratio 28 is to 84 is 1 is to 3. See the second sum 250 grams to 5 kgs. To write the simplest form of the ratio, both the units should be same units. That's how we are converting the kilograms to grams. 1 kg means 1000 grams we know. So, 5 kgs means 5 into 1000 grams, that is 5000 grams. Therefore, the ratio is 250 is to 5000. On dividing the both terms with 10, we got 25 is to 500. Now, again, these two terms are dividing with 5. 5 table 25 is 5 times. 5 table 500 is 100 times. Again, this 5 is to 100 can be simplified further on dividing both the terms with 5 now. 5 table 5 1 time, 5 table 100 is 20 times. Therefore, simplest form of the given ratio is 1 is to 20. See the third sum now 24 minutes to 3 hours. We know 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. 3 hours equal to 3 into 60 minutes that is 180 minutes. So, the ratio is 24 is to 180. That equals to on dividing both terms by 3, 3 table 24 is 8 times and 180 is 60. Therefore, the ratio is 8 is to 60. Now again, this ratio can be written in simplest form further by dividing the both terms by 4. Therefore, 4 table 8 is 2 times, 4 table 60 is 15 times. So, the simplest form of the given ratio is 2 is to 15. See the fourth sum now, 200 ml to 3 liters. Here also both are not in same units. So, let us convert them to same units. We know 1 liter equals to 1000 ml. 3 liters means 3 into 1000 that is 3000 ml. So the ratio is 200 is to 3000. We can simplify this ratio on dividing the both terms by 100. Two zeros were removed on both terms. So the ratio is 2 is to 30. This ratio can be simplified further by dividing the both the terms by 2. 2 table 2 is 1 time, 2 table 30 is 15 times. So, the ratio is 1 is to 15. Therefore, the simplest form of the given ratio is 1 is to 15. See now example 3. Find the ratio of the price of coffee to that of tea when coffee costs 36 rupees per 100 grams and tea costs 240 rupees per half kg. See the solution now. In order to compare the price of coffee to that of tea, we must first find the cost of same quantity of each of them. For that, we have to find the cost of 1 kg of each of the two items. We have 1 kg means 1000 grams that can be written as 10 into 100 grams. They have given cost of 100 grams of coffee as 36 rupees. Now let us find for 1 kg quantity. Cost of 1 kilo coffee is 100 grams 10 times means 1 kg. So, 36 into 10 that equals to 360 rupees. 
given cost of half kilo tea is 240 rupees therefore cost of 1 kilo tea is 2 into 240 rupees that equals to 480 now we have to compare these two ratios that is cost of 1 kilo coffee is to cost of 1 kilo tea that is 360 is to 480 we shall divide both the terms by 10 then we get the value 36 is to 48 again these two terms we shall divide by 4 4 table 4 nines are 36 4 twelves are 48 dividing the both terms by 3 3 table 3 threes are 9 3 fours are 12 so the ratio is 3 is to 4 today we have seen Chapter 6 Basic Arithmetic Example Sums on Ratio. Hope you are like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.